It's gonna be a great day because two of our kids are leaving. I remember feeling like I had no one to play with. Ambry, where are we going? Back brace appointment. Because it's hard to be in pain. It's hard to watch your kids be in pain. Good morning and welcome to today's vlog. It's gonna be a great day because two of our kids are leaving. <laughs> oh wait, I mean, oh, I'm so sad that they're leaving. <laughs> um, Zade and Daisy are going to like a weekend youth conference thing. It's for church, they get a little uh, time spent with other kids and a little bit of spirituality and just some good old fashioned fun. I think they're going to see some church sites. Is that right, Zade? Is that your understanding? So. Cabinet guys are rocking it, doing their thing. They are so fast. They, yesterday they took no, these. Two days, ago. two days ago. Like, I thought we were gonna be weeks without these, and we, yeah, they're just awesome. We are so happy with the countertop guys. That, or I mean, not eh? with the with the cabinet guys. This still working out. We're still working it. <laughs> the eternal figuring things you know out. What? They're gonna come back next week to fix it. I'm scared they're gonna ruin the cabinets. Again. It's a different like, crew that's gonna fix it. Though. I know, but I'm it's just like every crew. time you come here, we need to verify that it's taped off, worse. and maybe we'll just remove all of the drawers. Well, that'd be hard. Maybe we just remove. They're gonna have to mask everything. They're gonna have to mask everything. They, we'll make sure it's all taped off. But anyways, um, two older kids are heading on a little weekend youth conference and. Every's not, not quite old enough. My sister always used to tease me that no, you're not old enough, not old enough. She still does it to me this day. She says I'm not. Yep, she says I'm not. I'm not old enough for things. Frank, come here. Come here. None of the kids will um like are playing with me. I always feel left out because they're so much older. And I realized she's number five of five of six. I'm number five of six. And I had three older Jay? sisters. So like Zade, Daisy, and Ambry would have been the three older sisters if Zade was a girl. But Zade hangs out with the older ones. And I remember feeling that. I remember, and I was between the two boys too. So EB is like in my exact position. And I was like, I totally know how that feels. Feel that, you can <laughs> empathize. Like I remember feeling like I had no one to play with and all of my sisters were like too big and too cool for me. And, but then I was like, but now I'm friends with That's my sisters. Kitchen. No, it's empty. So just have to wait like 10 years, E.B. Evie requested Beat It for her dance song before we go to school. This has been a tradition in the mornings now. She's like, I have to have one show. No, no more. <laughs> now it's time to go to school. No, it's time to go to school. We can't dance all day. Go to school. She would, if I homeschooled her and let her dance all day, she would do it. Yeah, I actually want to do it. That is not what we're doing. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a no answer. I cannot do that. Okay, go to go to school. All right, Ender is home from school. Evie's home from school too. Um, Ambry, where are we going? Back brace appointment. So we got a call today and they got her back brace in and he said the other one was manufactured completely mirror image of what it should be. That's probably why it was actually more comfortable. Mm -hmm. So this one's probably gonna be way uncomfortable, but they've got the new one in. We're gonna get her fitted for it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's for scoliosis. It's called the Scoli Brace. It helps helps with scoliosis. And it will just, uh, yes, we're gonna get a new one. And I turn the here we go. On. There's no seat heat in this oh. car. I know. So EB wants to come today to spend her hard earned money from the Tooth Fairy. Is that right, EB? She got three gold coins. Can we see it? Turn it around. It's nice and uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. All right. Pushing up to add stress into there. Mm -hmm. Okay. The 
that's what we're at. Okay, we dropped Ender off at Ballroom. They're doing preps for auditions, preparations. And EB has got her hard-earned money, her three golden dollar bills that she wants to spend at the dollar store. So she'll be able to get two things. And so she's been waiting all day. Right, Evie, show me what you got with your uh, tooth fairy money. A little dolly with some, or a little puppy. It goes on a shelf, and what else? Oh, and a dolly. Okay, let's go get Ender, he's all done. Okay, we are back. Um, I picked up Ender, I was telling April this story, and like the main boss lady of the dance uh, team, company, the whole organization, she was like, it, does he belong to you? And I was like, uh oh, what has he done? <laughs> I was joking, I didn't think he'd really done anything. And she just went off for like 10 minutes on how good he was, how much natural talent he has, and how excited they are, and that there's all these girls that wanna, are gonna wanna try out with him, and it was just super cute, and Ender was just beaming from ear to ear, he just was so happy, and I was I was happy he too. Really I was like, is good though. like he, he, is. he has like this, Perfect frame. And he picks up the steps. Good, right? Yeah. Andrew, I'm talking about you, man. How did that feel when hearing that? The compliments from her. That's are you a words of affirmation kind of guy? Do you like hearing that? Yeah. I think you are. I think you That's are. how I am too. Yeah. I love hearing how awesome I am. Um and April knows it too. She she feeds my words of affirmation. Often. I need to be better. Be um, but we're home. Ambry's back brace, it's very not comfortable. The other one was very comfortable. We have a very sad teenager. Yeah, hopefully she gets used to it. It's kind of painful for her. And what a terrible mistake for them to make. Yeah, really crappy. He felt bad, and I don't know why the mistake was made. He didn't really explain it. He just said they fixed it. I think it. what happened is that the, the x rays got set in reverse. You know how you can flip them? Maybe. And so but they it, didn't know left or right. It's not even x rays, they take like a 3D image of the whole thing. I know, but the whole image got flipped. Yeah. That's the only thing. But it wasn't his fault, it was the people that make the braces, like in Australia. That's Unless where they're coming he sent from. It to them flipped, you know no, but then he would have had to cover it. Yeah. That's true. They're covering it. They they fixed it immediately when they saw it. So um Okay. I knew something was up when her back got worse in the brace. I'm like, isn't it supposed to overcorrect? Like Yeah. Her back, like normally their backs look almost perfectly straight in their braces. I was so confused. So, um, yeah. Okay, birthday invitations continuing. This is amazing. We got some sound absorption panels. We gotta get going on that. I don't know if you guys remember a couple days ago when I was like, advocate for your kids. There was a big mistake with Ambry's brace. I don't know how it happened, but this brace was mirror image, so it was actually making her back worse and making her curves worse. I know that the file just got switched in the process somehow. It was an honest mistake. I'm not mad at anyone, but I'm terribly sad for my little girl because <laughs> it was weirdly comfortable. Her new brace, she was like, I love it. It's totally comfortable. And I'm like, it shouldn't be that way. I just, like, I kept thinking, I kept saying things like, why is it holding this shoulder back? This is the one that's forward. Like, I was so confused from the first time I saw it. And she's like, no, mom, that's just what he said. It's supposed to be like that. And it's comfortable, it's fine. So I was like, okay. And then when I went and looked at the x-ray, I'm like, her curves are worse than the brace. This is, I've never seen this before. And like, all these like, intuition things and just common sense things and then I challenged the doctor again and again sorry the kids are fighting and he finally went and way in the quiet room and when he came back he was like she needs a new brace I think he realized I think it clicked in his mind like what is happening because like she's right this isn't right and that's when he realized crap it's mirror imaged here's the good we didn't have to pay for a new brace. Fantastic. It happened pretty fast. I think she's only had this brace like a month. Fantastic. Maybe two months. 
The problem is, is that now Ambry is very discouraged because she's realizing this new brace is extremely uncomfortable, as it should be. And I think it's really discouraging because she was thinking, I can do this for another year. This is great. And now it's, how am I going to make it through the night? How am I going to make it through school tomorrow? How am I going to make it through another day? And that's where my heart's breaking. Because it's just, I can see it in her face that she's just like really struggling again. And I was like so excited that she was wearing her brace so much and doing so good. And I just think it's going to be a struggle again. And it's hard. Because it's hard to be in pain. It's hard to watch your kids be in pain. And it's a long time. Like, it's a long time to be in something uncomfortable 20 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, for over a year. It's a tough pill to swallow. Um, but we, we know we can get through it. And I know she can get through it. It's just going to be hard. And I know that the brace can help improve curves because I've seen it. I've seen it work. So it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be fine. It's just hard. And I'm just glad we caught it when we did. And not a year down the road when her back was much worse, right? So, we'll be okay. She'll be okay. But if you have extra prayers, throw her away. I'm sure she wouldn't um, wouldn't be mad about it. <laughs> She'd be very appreciative, and so would I. And I, I pray often for kids in the world. Just the kids in general, not just my own. Because it's hard, but I will say this. Take a breath, okay. My kids that struggle with illnesses and scoliosis are my, like my strongest kids. They're the most resilient. I know I can testify to you that these struggles make them stronger. They make them more compassionate. I don't know where it cut me off, but I was saying, I know that these struggles um, make our kids more empathetic and more compassionate. And I know that, that these are my toughest kids. And I know that there's gonna be a day, I believe there's gonna be a day where they're going to be healed forever. And until that day, we keep rowing, we keep fighting, we keep praying, and we keep getting strengthened as we go through the day. And I know that today I will be strengthened too. I'm broken right now, but I'm gonna go pray and I'm gonna feel better. So when I say it's bedtime, you say what? Dance time. Dance time. How many dances are we gonna do? Six? Trailer, car wash, dinosaur, beat it. Can't touch this even. Do I have to watch all of them? Okay. Okay, guys, wrapping up the vlog now. Um, AB has something cool to show us. Can the vlog see it too? What's that? Like this. A broken half. What the heck? Huh. Like that. Um. We are gonna go on a little date night tonight, get the kids in bed. Zayd and Daisy are off at, off at youth conference. Thanks for watching, find good and everything. We'll see you tomorrow, bye-bye. Bye-bye. What are you doing, Davey? Periscope and the Ender Show. I'm vlogging right now. Get out of here. Circle me, circle me, circle me. Circle me, circle me, circle me, circle me. <laughs> okay. Ender, they didn't get to see your smile today yet. Please show them your smile. <laughs> <laughs> well, they didn't. They won't see it till tomorrow. Daisy, let him go. We gotta see his smile.
You guys, why are you on my legs right now? Oh my heck. What? I can make these dominoes. Oh 